So let's go through a few things. I wanna talk about the joint ventures between contractors and investors because it's very, very common. I've done a number of them, they don't work. And here's why, because there wasn't clear, defined roles or responsibilities. So here's a few things you wanna look at when you're considering doing a joint venture with your contractor. One, what are the clear business objectives? Two, communications, the arrangements between the organizations and the teams. Who's communicating with who, what, when, and responsibility on that level. Three, the financial arrangements. Who's responsible for what fiscally? When are you getting paid out? What are the percentages? Outline that. What happens when there's change orders? What happens when it goes too long? What happens if does the interest rate fluctuate? Keep those in mind. Four, protection of your interests and trade secrets, right? The contractor is going to be responsible for what? Ask him. Who's going to be there? How often are you going to be watching the property? If you're not there, who is? Who's your project manager? Who's your superintendent? How often are they going to communicate? What is your form of communication? And then you've got continuing the day-to-day, -day, the strategies, the decision-making, who's in charge of what, who's going to